Dude, can we run? It's coming this way. Crap, I gotta escape. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hey all you cool creatures, I'm Cryptid, welcome to the Cryptid Plays YouTube channel. Today we are going to play The Crooked Man, which is the first in the Strange Men series, and it is about a man who has moved to a new apartment during a rough time in his life, and some very strange occurrences happen while he is living there, which prompt him to search for the previous owner of the apartment. Now, before we get started, there are definitely some content warnings I must share with you because this is a horror game. The content warnings are body horror, hanging and suicide, jump scares, low detail, as far as graphics go, um, animal death, and mild swearing. Viewer discretion is advised. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Ah, there you go. This is a horror game. It contains scares and grotesque content. So refrain from playing if you feel you can't handle it. Please adhere to the following rules to prevent trouble. If these rules conflict with the rules on the author's site, the rules on the site take priority, so please check. We are, of course, going to follow the rules. I think they are, uh, very fair. Anywho, let's keep going. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. Uh, he found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. All right, uh, give me one second. I just realized how far into the screen I am. There we go. Anywho, back to the game. Who? Finally, things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we can help with, David? No, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the plates, Paul. I'll have to pay you back somehow. Too nice. The three of us could go out drinking. I look forward to it already. Well, it's late. We'd better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Hmm. All right. All right. A phone. A box of tissues. An empty trash can. An old TV. There is a large crack in the wall. Hmm. Cupboards. Huh? Sheesh. Paul forgot his license. I should get it to him if he's still around. Got Paul's license. A refrigerator. A stove. A sink. All right. Um, let's go find Paul then, possibly. Whoa, we have an office, a coat hanger, an old computer, an empty trash can. Not many clothes inside. Drawers. Nothing in them. A bookshelf. It hardly has any books. Well, we'll fill it up. A washing machine. A wash basin. Don't want to go. A bathtub. 
All right. All right. Enough dilly dallying. What's with that place? Seriously, it's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him, you hear? Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know, and not many places come with furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll pay him a visit sometime. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. Uh, hello? 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 Who is this? Shirley? Hmm. Well. I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first day in the new place. Man, I'm tired in all sorts of ways. Ugh, really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of the neighbors? I should go ask. Knocking gets no response. No response. No response. Yes, who is it at this hour? Pardon me, uh, it's just I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh, what are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. Are you trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 204, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. Sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I'd better get back to sleep. Hey. Hey. Not bad. Yikes, the water. Is the faucet busted? Hmm? Under the bed. Aw, oh, man. Under the bed? Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about in bad taste. Don't want to go. Must die. Must I? Fine. Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Oh dear. Huh? Found something. Found a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. Hmm. Well... At least it wasn't a jump scare yet. That sound still. Where is that coming from? Give me a break. I need sleep. Hello? Uh, 
yeah, thanks for all the... No, no, I didn't mean just I'm busy with work, so... Yes, I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay. Bye. Man, I slept into noon. I'd better go. So much for taking it easy. All right. I don't think there's much to look at. Nothing on TV. I guess we'll uh, head out. Sure you don't want to shower before you leave? That's okay. Uh, Paul, what is it? Hey, yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this. Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Oh, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Yeah, to the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah. Paul, did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Right on the mirror? What kind of prankster kid do you take me for, David? Sorry. I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. No need to go in here. What? I know you're there. This is ridiculous. Um. Mom, it's been a while. Are you doing okay? Oh my! If it isn't little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good, you look healthy. Sorry I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off and I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So, when you get better, we can live there together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son, David, remember? Oh, yes. They opened a bakery the other day. It smells wonderful. Maybe I should go buy from there. Mom? Oh, who would you be? Well, why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. D do you have the wrong room? Who are you? Say something, will you? M Ma? Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody! Somebody! There's a strange man in my room. Get rid of him! Now! Mrs. Hoover. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Away! Now, calm down, miss. Let's get you into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. D -D Davy, is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? M Mom? Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please, don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. 
Mom! It's me, remember? Mom! David, please. Leave for today. She's very confused right now. But, but she said my... I said leave. Oh. Uh, Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. Bring the sedatives. Oh, golly gosh. Okay. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Eh, thanks. I hope you can help her. Well, back home, I guess. Oh, I heard that. Hey. Uh-huh. Did I move that chair? Huh? There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was someone shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Guess. I mean, eh. what's a little haunting with some uh, furniture already in place? Ah, uh, hello. Hey, David. How are you doing? Uh, you just saw me yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? I can come visit with Paul. By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... <sighs> Sorry. I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her to worry. She should just look out for herself. All right, I'll hang up now. All right, see you. I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Or should you? I mean... Nighttime is when the haunting really starts. Probably. See, I told you. Static. Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? Gah! What the hell? This is creepy. Did it say sink? What was that? Oh, kitchen sink. A sink. Hmm, there's a scrap of paper under here. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant... So much strange stuff. I should just sleep and forget about it. I guess. Don't you want to read some more Mother Goose rhymes? Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Yep. 
They did try, but this place sure isn't working out, is it? Is that a kid I hear? This late at night, and what kid would live in these beat-up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Or are you? Just a cup. Jeez, that startled me. W wait, what? Help me. The coffee's spelling out. You gotta be. This room is really, really strange. With its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? Good question. Uh, hi, Paul? It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. Haha. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> yeah, um, was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like he forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady, sure, later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. <laughs> knock, knock. All right, wait a minute. All right, fine. Hello. Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. Uh, I just wanted to ask something, you see. Uh, about the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago, said to leave the furniture and use it, however. You wouldn't know where he went? I never heard that, no. Really, just up and left out of the blue. Ah, I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents and find the previous tenants if you'd like. N no there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. All righty. Sorry I wasn't very useful. A man about my age. I can only wonder what he was like. Oh well, I'll get back to my room. What a lonely life. Not, uh, doing much. Well, hey, those are some footsteps, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Got a brass key. Uh, this key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. The guy's voice, the kids' voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. <laughs> it's like a poltergeist or something, but I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd much care if there were ghosts here. Nobody'd be too bothered if they haunted and killed me either. Oh, that's really sad. 
But I wonder about that scrap of paper. Well, oops. <laughs> oops. Well, that was uh, an accident. I just had my fingers on the keyboard. Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. All right. Sleepy, sleepy time. What? Oh, what is that sound? Why? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? Hmm. And it came from in here. Radio, what's... Why is this in my closet? Not to mention it turning on by itself. Is it really that weird when the TV did the same thing? Hmm? There's something on this paper here. It's an address. Our special place. Where is that supposed to be? Silent Hill, of course! Got a paper with an address. Well, I'm waiting for you. Well. I'm... I'm waiting for you? What? Why did... How? And when did it... What? Uh-uh! Yeah, my thoughts exactly, dude. Or you could just live with it. So, you sleep well last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. No, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Ha! Wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look too hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I just felt like intruding into the newlyweds' love nest. Hey, why you... <laughs> just kidding. Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. All right. <laughs> I'm glad to know a guy who looks out for his friends. Hey, you're making fun of me. Oh, yeah. I heard from Marion. Sorry about that Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it. It's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is. I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, all right? I know you got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital. And the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. Paul, that's kind of rude. You keep up that moping and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. Oh, so I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Uh, just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Nah, but don't actually. Breakfast ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? Nah, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Aw, that's too bad. Come by any time you like. There. Looks like this address is in the mountains. About a five-hour drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Heh. <laughs> I'll go right now. I can't stand this place anyway. Yeah, it's a mess. You probably should clean it up. At least there's no blood on the walls during the day. Uh, 
I was worried something was going to appear as soon as he left the room. Prologue. David's room. End. Jeez, it's gotten dark, but this is the place, no doubt. Huge place. Looks like a hotel. Would he be here? Guess I'll just have to check. Hotel Ruinheim. Ruinheim? Or Ruinheim. Hmm. Hotel Ruinheim. Giving you a serene stay. Well, probably should look around, right? I don't know if touching every tile on the screen is uh, worth the trouble, but I don't see why not. Alright. Well, nothing at the moment. Quite an empty hotel, isn't it? A hotel register. It's locked. The clock has stopped. Staff room. Staff only. There's wire around the doorknob. Jeez. A landscape painting. Mm -hmm. The keyhole is painted over. It won't open. Okay. So are all of them like that? Yeah. Sure seems that way. Oh! Hey, this one's not. Looks like the bathroom. All right, shiny. There's something on a shelf. Treasure hunt. Dear mom and dad. And that's the person who drew the map. Treasure hunt. I guess some kid staying here drew this. <laughs> sure, I'll look for your treasure. The dresser is empty. The clock is stopped. This is a nice hotel. If not for being abandoned, it looks like a really nice place to stay. Staffed only, and it's locked with a passcode. Okay. All right. Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, 201 to 205. Library. Oh, hey. Fancy. There's a scrap from a notebook on the dresser. It was our special place. She loved the pretty room with its big mirror. She would wonder what to wear for dinner, but now it's just me. I thought it might help to come here, but it didn't. There's only emptiness. The rule on this page, it matches the one from my room. So the former tenant did come here. I wonder if he's still here. Does it look like he's still here? So he got dumped, huh? The note at home did mention that, and our special place, he came here with her. Where could he be? Found a scrap from a notebook. The shelves are empty. A landscape painting. Oh, the dresser mirror is cracked. Right, I forgot just how... Uh, Creepy some of these, um, RPG Maker horror games can get. Keyhole is painted over. Keyhole is painted over. The door is locked. There's a notice on the door. Due to employee incompetence and lost keys, the library is temporarily closed. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well. I guess we gotta go looking for some... Keys, oh my. A grand piano. Today's program, Schoenberg Three Piano Pieces. Completely dark out, clock is stopped. A fireplace, another landscape painting. Oh, ah, the treasure would be in here. This looks like the right room. Eh? Something under the table? What luck? Oh my god. Found a gold key. There's a piece of paper beside it. 
You found the treasure. Congrats. I hearing something? I feel like I'm hearing something. Hmm. Use the gold key. Oh, okay. So I didn't have to go into my inventory. Okay, another key. The owner's collection of books. Please read at your leisure. Cry of the unseen. Do you consider yourself kind? You don't get to decide that. It's decided in the unconscious. Even if they believe you are cold-hearted, you may be warm and emotional inside, and they will sniff it out. They will be lured by your unconscious kindness, and they will drag you away. Some kind of a cult book? I bet Paul would love this. He's way too into that stuff for his age. You can never be too old for a cult. Not gonna lie. That stuff is interesting. A key. Got the key to 108. Cool. Um, pack tight with books from G to H, I to J, K to L. Oh, what the? That sound. S to T, U to V, W to Z. I'm not in any hurry to check that out, sir. Just letting you know that right now. It's completely dark. A decorative plant. Is it fake? Who knows? Okay, so the... Um... Is someone there? Oh god, okay. Seven. Here's eight. Unlock the door. Looks to be the bathroom. There's something on top. Um. Okay, cool. I can push chairs in this. Ha ha ha. Now I can get what's on the dresser. Got wire cutters. Oh boy. This is getting intense. Right, this is the one with the wires. Wait, what? Piano? We hear piano? Is that piano playing coming from the second floor? You really want to go check that out now? Oh my god. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry, miss. You scared the crap out of me, too. I very much apologize. Who's there? Uh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, I just came in and... And the piano looks so nice, I, um... Sorry, I yelled at you. I'm not on staff for the hotel or anything. Who are you, then? I'm David. I'm sort of looking for a guy. Uh, what about you? I'm Sissy. Huh, Sissy, then. What brings you here? It could be dangerous, you know. I stayed at this hotel once, but I forgot something important, so I came back to get it. I see. Did you find it? No, I'm still looking. It's just this little box decorated with rubies, but I'm not leaving until I find it. Right. Well, again, sorry for shouting. I'll probably be here a while longer, so I could help you find it. Really? That would be great. Okay, please help. Just do me a favor too, though. If you see a man about my age, would you tell me? 
Okay. I'll be going then. Um, David, you be careful too. Man, what am I doing shouting at girls? I feel like the shady one here. Dude, this hotel is super abandoned. You are not the shady one here. But she might not be either. Y'all are just in a not so safe place. Yeah. Cut the wire with the cutters. Full of miscellaneous goods. The trash can is full of crumpled paper. Four chapters of the book have mysteriously gone missing. Should you find the pages, please report to the owner. Lined with journals and account books. Lined with tourist magazines for the area. Owner's room. There's no doorknob. Damn. Um... Uh, I hear something. Is somebody locked in there? I should find some way to open it. Oh god. Oh god. Please don't. We don't need to unlock it. A notebook. 10-8. Door in room 106 bathroom needs fixing. There's a key on this page. Got the key to 106. Okay. That should be at the very end of this room, I or this hallway. Yep. Oh. Doorknob. And doorknob. Oh, yeah. That journal mentioned something about door repairs. Hmm. Would it work on that door without a knob? It's the same kind. I'll give it a shot. Wait, are you sure it's the same kind if that door doesn't have a doorknob? Oh, well. The mirror is filthy. The door has no knob and won't open. Here we go. Attach the doorknob. Lined with novels. Lined with tourist info and maps. Lined with books about hotel administration. Book of the Month. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Would that be under T or S? Either way, I'm writing it down. Give me a minute. All right. An empty trash can. A phone. A small door which won't open. It doesn't seem to have a lock. I'll look around here a little more. Also, where'd Sissy go? She seems to be missing. Where did she go? Every door is locked and I've gone into so many rooms. Are we just like missing each other? Mm-hmm. Oh, I think the only place I can go is back here and figure the heck. Figure this out. Heck. Wait a minute. This tile seems a little loose. This is a time to save. Stomp on it. Okay. It opened. Was there a mechanism in the floor? There's a ladder, and it goes down. Where else? Maybe I should check this out. 
Do you really want to? We are in a horror game, my good sir. This seems like a terrible idea. I can't see a thing. I need a light. Lamp oil. Uh, used equipment. <laughs> Oh, are you okay? Hey, were you locked in here? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Eep, eep. Dude, we need to run. What? Are you okay? Whoa. Are you asking him if he's okay? Really? Yeah. Does he look okay to you? Uh... Stay back! Don't come near me! Ah! Let go, let go! Z. Alright, come on, man. Oh my god. What was that? Its neck was all crooked. I can't have been human. Am I just going nuts here? That thing. It couldn't have been real. Or could it? I must just be seeing things. I'm just so tired is all. Ugh. I feel sick. I wonder what Sissy's up to. Did she find what she came for? We are going to save again. We managed to survive somehow. Some way. Where might she be? Probably not back in here. Well, certainly not back in here. I'll keep looking. Oh my god, that scared me! <laughs> oh my god! Okay. <laughs> I jumped out of my chair! <laughs> almost, almost. I didn't quite jump out of my chair, but oh my god. Was that sissy? Must have been. <laughs> oh dear. S Sissy, what happened? Uh, I went to, to the window and the floor gave way. What should I do? Sissy, jump over. It's dangerous over there. Huh? No, I can't. I I'm slipping. And I can't possibly jump that far. A gap this big? This is no time for pessimism. It's going to crumble soon. Hurry, I'll catch you. Ah. Yeah! Oh, jeez. That... That was too close. Uh, are you okay, sissy? Are you hurt? Sissy? Oh. So scared. I, I was so scared. No more. I... Uh, I don't like the dark. Well, why... Why do I... I... It's okay, sissy. I'm sorry. I know you were scared, but it's fine now. Don't cry. Uh... Uh... I'm sorry. I was scared and confused. It's alright. I'm glad you're not hurt. Did you find what you were looking for? No, not yet. It wasn't in the room we stayed in. I wonder where it could be. Must be important if you came all by yourself. You could always give up on it. It's not entirely safe here. I, I can't give up on it. I have to find it. What? Exactly, is it? Sorry to ask, but I've been wondering, was it a present, or...? 
Hey, it's a present from my boyfriend. It's the most important thing to me after my own life. Ah, <laughs> I see. Sorry if I was rude. I'll keep looking for it, too. You're looking for someone, right? I haven't met anyone yet, but uh, can you tell me more about him? Uh, well, I don't know that much either. It's just that he's a man about my age. Huh? You know that little about the person you're looking for? You're a strange guy, David. Ah, uh, I am not. Uh, there's just some things I want to ask, and I don't know how he looks because, um... Strange, but very kind. I would have been hurt badly if you weren't here. I'm really grateful to you for saving me. I should get going. Take care, David. I'll see ya. God, I was worried that it was... You know, that she was being chased by the thing. Not John Carpenter's the thing. But, you know. The, the crooked man, I guess. The lack of music is vaguely unsettling. I'm not even going to lie. Locked still. Like, there is a tiny bit of ambient sound, but... Mostly it's just his footsteps and then us trying to open doors. Then again, I don't know if it's any better because I have a feeling the music in this would be really unsettling if they had it all the time. Uh-oh. The, the basement door is open. Oh, God. Is it down here? I don't think it is. A drum smells like gasoline. Oh, hey. There's something here. A bronze key. God. Oh, boy. Sorry if I start making, like, weird expressions. I am definitely concentrating really hard. I know where this probably goes. The bar. Alright. Is it gonna chase me? I have a feeling it is. Mm -hmm. A journal seemingly written by a staff member. The last page is rambling and sloppily written. A toast to our owner, who left his employees and fled into the night. We'll drink all the beer we've got. Hell, it's the only good thing here. Being out of a job's no good, but at least we don't have to see his mug no more. We were so sick of that egghead always trying to flaunt his intelligence. Installing weird stuff for the basement door. Having a number lock on the food storage. All his silly crap made the place impossible to run. I'm hearing something... Plus, the passcode was this thing with a book which he changed up every month. What the hell do you do if you forget? Maybe it's good for him, but sure as hell not us. Ah, whatever. Once we're done with the booze, we're out of here. A toast to our bright futures. The door to the food storage is at the far end of the first floor, right? The passcode on food is pretty absurd. Yeah, that sure is. I can say without a shadow of a doubt, but when I worked in food service... That would have been more than a huge nuisance. It would have been made it pretty damn impossible. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. 
We aren't getting chased yet. The black cupboard in the owner's room said the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. It'd be on this shelf, right? Ah, here we go. Chapter one. All right. Two. Well, ten doesn't make sense, does it? Um, but one, two, four, five, eight, ten. I don't know if that is correct, but it is what I wrote down, so I will figure it out. No, 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 no. Oh, man, really? Dude. No way. That monster, did it really? The basement's unlocked and open, of course. It did. Oh, my God. Dude, can we run? It's coming this way. Crap, I gotta escape. Bye-bye. <laughs> Let's try this again. Come on, come on. Yep, yep, come on. We gotta escape, buddy. It's coming this way. Crap, I gotta escape. Maybe if I drop him down here. There we go. That makes sense. Either that or we jump down there. What is that monster? So what I saw earlier really was to think that thing actually exists. But still, there's no way it's coming back from that fall. And the room under here is locked tight. I should warn Sissy when I see her. I knew it would be dangerous for her. Dangerous for us too, dude. I'm going to try doing numbers differently, like of what they add up. Oh, oh, oh hold on. Mm, no, this isn't right. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We were missing chapters, right? So the chapter's missing are probably the ones in between the ones I wrote down, so maybe. All right, let's try this again. That is such a good sound. Uh, it worked! Okay, cool. You see something shining, but it's out of reach. A small fruit knife. That's a pretty damn big fruit knife. An empty trash can. A cupboard. The hinges are too rusted to open. Refrigerator smells rotten. Smells rotten. Smells rotten. Smells rotten. Wine casks. They seem mostly empty. Hmm. Stacks of beer cases. A wooden box. Can we climb on it? Oh, wait, hold on. A ladder. I could use this to get up to that thing. Got the key to 209. That's not the room it's in, right? Right? Please tell me it's not. Can't be. Yeah, okay, thank gosh. There's no way. Well, I say that, but it escaped from the basement to begin with, so I don't know. Here we are, unlocked the door. 
The shelves are empty. I see the thing on the floor, don't worry. All right. Looks like something was badly burnt. Was this a photo? There's something under the pieces. And a scrap from a notebook. I don't need her memory anymore because I know she won't come back. I have to erase everything, good and bad, and all the memories inside of me, too. Uh, my head hurts. Oh, it's easing up. Sheesh. I'm exhausted. I guess I haven't slept much. So, he burnt this photo to mend his broken heart, huh? I'm hearing something. I know I couldn't do that. I'll never forget. Never. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. Well, Paul is rude. And you should drop him as a friend if he talks to you like that. Sissy. Oh, there you are, David. Did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There are lots of rooms I can't get into, so it might be in one of those. What's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. Oh, it's nothing, but sissy, you really should leave soon. Why? You may not believe me, but there's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'd definitely be in danger, too. So I think you should go. Look, I don't like dark, scary places either, but there's no need to tease me like that. I'm not a kid afraid of the boogeyman, okay? This ain't the boogeyman, though. This is the crooked man. You should be afraid of him. Er, sorry. But I'm not trying to tease you. I I'm telling the truth. <laughs> don't worry. I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonest guy, so I like to believe you, but... A monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark? You could be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in dark places like this. <sighs> I'd like to think you're right. All right, if you insist, but be careful, okay? I know. Well, I'll go looking elsewhere. Uh-oh. What? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's blood, isn't it? Red writing. Was this here before? No. Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Come to me. I am waiting for you. Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? Oh, man. Again. Mm. Why? I dropped you down a pit. You think that could stop me? <laughs> Crap, I gotta do something. Damn it, this monster doesn't give up. How about some of this? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, you be blip. Get it. <sighs> I guess that won't do much alone. What else can I do? Hey, it's alcohol, buddy. Guess what you have? A lighter. Oh, I didn't read your dialogue. Dang it. Yes! Ha-ha! He ran away. <sighs> what the hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? I might need something to defend myself. Even just a knife could really help. Was there one of those around? Yes, there was. You said it looked like a small fruit knife, but I am pretty sure it was a very large fruit knife. Or to the food storage. I don't know if it's the kitchen or not. 
definitely eh, it would look kind of like a kitchen. So maybe it is a kitchen. But to the room that was locked with the passcode. Wow, convenient. Fruit knife. Maybe I should take it uh, just for self-defense. Now that's a knife. All right. Blood. B blood. This wasn't here earlier. Did did something happen to Sissy? Hmm. Well, ain't none of these rooms. Okay, it's leading me. No, 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 no. Is it? Not this way. I don't look like it was going up the stairs, but I could very well be wrong. Ah, I was wrong. It's over here. Hmm. Okay. The door is unlocked. Hey, Sissy, what are you doing here? Whoa, your arm's bleeding. So it was your blood. Were you hurt? My arm got caught in something. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. That's a lot of blood. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you get anemia? I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief, so I can at least try to wrap it up. Oh, I guess this is better than nothing. Doesn't hurt. It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? It's silly that I'm wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, all to find some measly box. Measly, but it's important, right? A um, memento from your boyfriend? Well, he's my ex to be exact. Huh? He left me quite a while ago, but while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. That was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here just brought back all these memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when he broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. Oh, there's a little bit of piano music. I don't know if y'all can hear it. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Sorry. I know I'm just annoying you. God, this music's so pretty, though. Hold on. I'll rest here a little while longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, and here. I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Received a key to somewhere. Thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. A somewhere key. Why are you always like this, David? Like, like what? You're always such a yes man. Just going with the flow. Do you even have a personality? 
I don't mean to. I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. You treat anyone else the same way, right? That's why I can't trust you. Look, please, just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm a pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again. Thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. The... Then what should I do? You just don't trust me, is that it? Maybe it's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way, but I think we would both be worse off staying together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. Wait, we can talk this out? Surely! Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that. Timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way too. Alright. I think that I am going to leave this here for today. We will pick it up next time, which will be next week for all of you. And uh, if you like the video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of me and you haven't yet, please subscribe. I upload videos every Monday and Wednesday, as well as shorts and extra videos throughout the week. I also stream on Twitch on Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Fridays are usually twice a month, but sometimes more. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye!